We're conquering the world as Germany today, economically this time, because we can't seem to do it through our military. Remember that the win goal of this game, Dummy Nation, is technically just to control half the world's GDP? Well, I'm not sure if it's half or if it's just like the vast majority, something like that. Now, technically starting off as Germany, we have the fourth largest GDP. We're just behind Japan, China, and of course the USA. But we are, however, in Europe, which means we're surrounded by a lot of nations with more GDP. France with Paris, for example, or the UK's London. So so taking over Western Europe would be huge for us in the very beginning. That won't be easy though. I might have to come down here and start stuff with Africa, do a little bit of imperialization here again. Sorry. Now I feel like starting off our German military kind of sucks. We're gonna have to change that, which hopefully the world doesn't get scared. Gonna get some military research, some combat training. Also I want to make sure we have some gunners here, so I'm gonna get some of those guys. Also way more rocket units. Now technically we have a lot of friends. I actually fear like if I go after friends. France, um, they're just gonna like call in everybody because we're in the EU and we're gonna get our butt kicked like we always do. Like diplomatically, I, I probably do need to go to Africa. Sorry, not diplomatically, but I mean militarily. I also need to keep my eyes open and try to seize any opportunities if nations around me fall. Specifically Russia, because Russia does tend to have a lot of enemies. They have all of Europe that's an enemy and of course China would love to eat them. I feel like my job here is really just to not spook the world as soon as I start attacking people. I'm gonna bring up my military spending a bit. <laughs> Speaking of spooking the world, now we do start off as a democracy, but I can switch that up if I needed or wanted. That would make so many people mad, I feel like, if I did that. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on through my friend's territory, France and Spain. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna see what happens. Actually, before I do that, though, uh, what do they got? Okay, Morocco has literally nothing. That is perfect. So we definitely want to attack before Spain attacks. Spain actually might try to hop in on this. So far, just wildfires happening in Liberia. A massive tsunami has wrecked the coast of Panama. Ooh, I would like to get some new world colonies up. That would be kind of cool. Panama's got almost nothing. I don't think I want to wait the time it would take for, I mean, these troops are already not super fast. We can, of course, only move as fast as our slowest troops, which I think we've got, like, foot soldiers in there, so that's why this is going to take, um literal days. Ooh, Pakistan has declared war on India. We're gonna want to keep an eye on that, even though I'm pretty far away from those two. I would assume India is gonna be able to clean that up pretty easily. Another problem with trying to move here is the terrain. Uh, Spain has a lot of rough terrain. We need to keep that in mind for Morocco as well. Oh, now Morocco's got troops. Wait, wait, wait. You had almost nothing before. Where did all this come from? Wait, I don't know if I want to fight that now. We have a lot of soldiers. We, we should still be able to win this, but we're only gonna get, like, Morocco. That That's it. And then we're gonna have to completely rebuild everything. The is I can get these guys down there pretty quickly. Uh, I might have needed to bring those guys a little bit faster. Now, we are technically winning this so far. Hey, Spain, you, can, can we get some help? Yo, dog, we're gonna need some help here. Morocco is getting, having some trouble. Okay, well, at least we're firing at them. Those guys got destroyed so fast. Hey, what's Tunisia doing in the Mediterranean? All right, well, that was a horrible idea. We should not have done that. Well, thank goodness for saves. So let's not do that. I'm going to instead try to take, um, oh, well, look at that. Canada signed an alliance treaty with Mexico. I'm going to instead try to um, hop on another country's death. Maybe I shouldn't lead the charge like that. I did see that Serbia had declared war on Bosnia at the end, so maybe if they do that again, I'm, I'm jumping in after one of them. We don't necessarily have the greatest relation with uh, the former Yugoslavian states, so I would like that. Or maybe attacking Belarus. Something I really wish I realized before, we only have the 26th largest military power. That's not good. Is there already war for Turkey? No, Turkey's just moving their troops all around. Albania as well. We've got a good relationship with, with both those countries. Greece Greece has just declared war on Malta and on Palestine. Greece, can you not? Oh, I would love to attack Greece right now. What if I did that? Pretty sure that would make all my allies upset. Why don't we just, like, watch the destruction of Greece? Okay, also Italy's moving around. Yeah, we've got a lot of friends as, as Germany, so we... I mean, that is an advantage. Like, it's gonna be hard to take us over. Italy's declared war on San Marino. Maybe I do need to just sit back and try to take advantage of situations countries falling apart. Okay, Greece is literally going crazy, going after Monaco. San Marino was just defeated. We also got some fighting here, obviously, because of Monaco. Why is Greece trying trying to get that. Can I attack Liechtenstein? Oh, Liechtenstein is in this game. Is that worth it? I feel like that would just make people mad for, honestly, no good reason. I, I say let's just continue to build up our military, because we've got some more dudes coming in. Yemen has now just declared war on Greece. Okay, we need to keep an eye on this. We basically have, like, the Middle Eastern powers versus the European powers. Literally, everyone's just declared war on Greece. Has diplomatic situations changed at all with Greece? No. The Europeans still like Greece, even though they're literally going crazy right now. They're at war with so many nations. Here goes Iceland coming down. What, what are you doing, Iceland? Greece still has a pretty good uh, military that can probably defend themselves. Are you guys still trying to fight Monaco over here? Really? Monaco putting up a great fight. Albania is now having to come in to fight Monaco. I guess I should feel very protected that nothing too bad will happen back at- Wait a second. I almost just sent my military 
halfway across the world because I, I don't know, I thought having the Panama Canal would be cool. Italy has just declared war on Switzerland. Um, we're gonna want to jump in on that. It looks like the Italians have a pretty good military too, uh, a lot better than Switzerland, and we're already close by. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and attack Switzerland. Sorry, Switzerland, but you're not gonna be neutral on this run. Perfect, Italy's doing most of the attacking. Hopefully, we don't take too much damage here. Attack them, please. Attack them, attack them. Bahrain has declared war on Somalia. Somali land, that is, sorry. And they are almost out of troops. They're running out of- Man, they had like 500 tanks. Wow. We definitely did, took some casualties, but not quite as much. Man, Germany and Italy teaming up again. Wait, maybe I shouldn't say that. Is Italy gonna take most of this from us, though? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. It looks like we're getting pretty red here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, that was nice. We, we grabbed a lot of that. So it looks like Italy only really wanted the southern part of Switzerland that speaks Italian. Uh, obviously, it's Germany. I wanted the German speakers, and I guess we got the French Swiss speakers as well. Interestingly, uh, the EU doesn't care. I think part of, part of that is because Switzerland decided to stay neutral for so long that the, well, the EU wasn't a part of, like, the alliance members. The Switzerland was not a part of the alliances, the EU alliances. So that was an absolute dub. Thank you, Italy. Now, I really would like to start maybe attacking Serbia. Oh, Hungary and uh, Serbia are already getting into it. Serbia definitely has some troops, 700 tanks. I'm gonna just kind of walk over there and see what happens. I mean, we're all friends. I'm just gonna kind of get a view. Wait, shouldn't I see what Hungary already looks like? I think Hungary is our friend. Technically, we are allies. I would like someone else to come help me with Serbia, though. Argentina's just declared war on Brazil. Meanwhile, Argentina was attacking Paraguay. Portugal looking like they are really trying to take back a lot of Africa. Yeah, I don't know if I want to fight this. I think I'd rather not, because I, I don't really know what's going on with Hungary, if they have their troops all over the place. Maybe Serbia is somewhere, like, has their military somewhere in Africa, though. Ooh, the U.S. now is going to go down and attack Argentina. If only I was closer to them. By the time I actually get down here, well, I mean, Argentina does have a lot of troops. That'd be so funny if we get Argentina. Should I just take half and send them down there? Let's just see what happens. If it doesn't work out, we'll just send them to Africa instead. Let's get these guys back at home to watch out. The Dominican Republic has now declared war on Argentina, so the coalition has started against Argentina. Also, Portugal's doing a lot in Africa, but, I mean, how much troops do they really have? Well, they have a sizable army. I don't want to mess with that. Oh boy, Russia and now Ukraine are getting into it. We are allies with Ukraine, so I can't, like, jump in after Ukraine. But if Russia collapses, and that's one thing. Okay, yeah, so I think it's a good idea to maybe have two different armies. I am spreading myself out thin, but this army, we, we basically, like I said, just need to jump on nations that are already uh, falling apart. Russia's also declared war on Georgia, so Russia's going kind of crazy. They might even be going after Romania, too, or no, Bulgaria? I don't know. Oh, man, that huge U.S. army is really beginning to mobilize. Argentina is still going strong, but I don't really see many Argentinian troops. They're definitely here. I just hope that they're going to be, like, dead by the time I get down there. I think we're still stronger than the military they have at the moment. Literally all of South America has declared war on them, so they shouldn't have much. We're almost there, too. I think Portugal might be going down there. Okay, everyone's declared war on Russia. We're going to probably need to jump on that. Estonia, Hungary, Lithuania, Italy, Latvia, and... S oh, no, Senegal's something else. Turkey's declared war on Russia. Okay, that's a big one. Do I wait for this guy? Oh, we did almost recruit most of the military that I wanted. I think Britain might be going in after Russia, too. Russia's got a big military. I don't know if I want to fight those those dudes right now. I'm gonna wait just a little bit. We're, we're pretty close to Russia anyways. It won't be too hard to change our mind if we need to. The problem is the Russians have like a lot of their units, they're spread out, but even the smaller units are, are big and scary, for me at least, especially because I, I split up half of our German army. Maybe we just wait for these guys to get uh, finished, which I think they're coming like right now, like any second now. Three hours later. Okay, there we go. So we got a little, this particular division is a little bit stronger. I don't really see the Argentinian troop count go down much. I thought it'd be down a lot more by the time I got to actual Brazil. Are we gonna have to attack along the coast? I think we do because I'm not allied to Brazil. Or maybe not. I just want to make sure that we're near some friends. Oh, it takes a lot longer to move through this area. The U.S. really cleaning up Central America. It, all of, like, Eastern Europe is attacking Russia. Unfortunately, Russia has good relationship with China. If China just jumped in on the east, that would be great. Ooh, wait a second. I don't know if I want to fight that. I do not know if I want to fight that. They're literally just sitting here waiting for me. What What is South America even doing? I'm good. I will go back home. I'm gonna pack up and go back home. Never mind, I'm okay. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Ooh, the U.S. is attacking Colombia. Now, this is maybe something we should jump on. Oh, they were kind of just doing a drive-by attack, though. The U.S. is not gonna be liking me enter their sphere of influence. Ah, uh, now there we go. There's a war I like a bit more. Croatia versus Bosnia. Bosnia can't have that much. Yeah, they don't really. Also, Hungary fighting down here, too. I don't know if I can attack Bosnia, actually, because uh, they don't have a coastline. Even though they technically do, that is a coastline. Your country has no land or sea borders with this country. Oof. So I have to watch them die without 
about even jumping on. I mean, I can't really attack Croatia. I would love to go after Belarus, but I would rather not unless I had friends. Change of plan. Uh, the U.S. is here to take on Colombia. Can I grab some of this from you guys? Okay, very nice. We're gonna take, I think, a little bit of this. I hope. I mean, okay, I think I think we're picking up some land. Oh, crap. Now, I, that means that I can't attack Panama anymore. I guess we're gonna get more land from attacking Colombia. Panama declared war. I, I want to go after Panama immediately after this, but I think the U.S. is gonna steal that from me. Yeah, they just jacked all that overnight. Okay, I guess I can go Costa Rica after this. Ooh. Okay, we keep having to put down peasants. Good, good. They're fighting more peasants. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight peasants too. Oh, nice. Crush them real quick. Let's get right deep in there. What is happening back at home? Everything good here, I think? I mean, I don't really know. Croatia did take out Bosnia and I couldn't take anything from them. Ooh, is this the collapse of Morocco? I would like to not embarrass myself again. What, what, what the heck is that? They have farmers? Oh, those are peasants. Oh, because they have nothing left, do they? Can I get there down there in time? It is gonna take a minute for me to get down there. Oh, good. Okay, we actually did stole, we stole a, quite a bit from the US. I'm gonna go Costa Rica. Costa Rica doesn't have a military, so we should be able to walk in there. I did get down to Morocco, and Morocco has no troops, so we should be able to steal all that away. Who is this? Slovenia? What the heck is Slovenia doing in Morocco? We also might want to think about attacking, is someone attacking Algeria? Let's just, let's just focus on this part right now. Germany's declared war on Costa Rica. Okay, that's fine. We should instantly take them over. I might just move straight on over to Nicaragua. Oh, Nicaragua actually has some stuff, though. I should have a lot more. I think it shouldn't be much of a problem. I guess I'll move in here. Oh, okay, that was very simple. This is South Korea. Okay, South Korea took over El Salvador. I don't know when that happened. South Korea also took over the Dominican Republic. Just trying to look for any new enemies. Maybe Ecuador. Venezuela got Guyana like they want in real life. France, you get out of here. You leave, you leave this stuff alone. This is mine. France might possibly be at war with India, who's getting very large over there. Maybe I could just move on down to Mauritania. Yeah, Mauritania does not have much. I think that that might be the plan. I do have a third division back at home. I mean, that's more of a defensive unit, even though we're pretty safe unless Russia decides to come after us. Russia still has a really large army that most of, I guess most of Eastern Europe hasn't done much against Russia. Look at China not really doing much either, though. I need to figure out something to do here. Uh, that is French Guyana, so we can't attack that. Cuba would not be fun, which is why the U.S. is not taking them over yet. Neither would Mexico. I think we can take on Ecuador, but it won't. I don't really like that. We have way less uh, rocket dudes, but we have a lot more of everything else. Yes, we can give it a shot. That division, I guess I'll just drive that division into the ground until we die. Is that really a good idea, though? I think we'll be okay. I just wish that Paraguay would help us out. Okay, so we're, we're fighting. We are a lot larger. Okay, that was pretty easy. Peru's declared war on Germany. Oh, that is not what I wanted. And Peru has much larger force. There are several peasant uprights. We might have to run away. Wow, there's a lot of people rising up. And here comes Peru. I don't know. Can Okay, can we peace out? I would rather not. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Maybe we will be okay. There's a lot of force. Did Uruguay declare war on me as well? I think they did. Yes, Uruguay as well. Let's see if anyone jumps in. We're about to take all of Morocco. That's nice. I want Mauritania next. So Mauritania has basically nothing. That's perfect. We'll continue to extend our colonial holdings in Africa. So Germany's still solidly in fourth place in terms of GDP. That extra land hasn't really helped me out too much. I might need to send reinforcements to my South American armies. I don't know how fast this guy can get here. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, Germany's declared war on Mauritania. We are gonna start to piss off some African powers. Maybe Mali next? Who knows? Yeah, this, this division is looking smaller and smaller. Oh, that's a huge uprising. Okay, I'm gonna peace out with Peru. I don't, I don't wanna keep doing this. I just want Ecuador and then I'll leave South America alone, okay? Uh, the U.S. is declaring war on Mali. I wanted Mali. Okay, I'm gonna rush to take out Mauritania and then I'm gonna go in try to take a little bit of Mali. It's not much, but it is honest work. Oh, I think Algeria is declaring war on us now. Why are we going over there? What what territories are this? Oh, Mauritania. They have oh, they have these random islands. Maybe the U.S. will come attack Algeria for me. Algeria has a very scary uh, military. Okay, so I think we just defeated Ecuador, and I don't think we're at war because we defeated them. We're not at war with Uruguay anymore, I think. But I need to chill. I need to stop attacking because if Brazil attacks me, I am screwed. Yeah, Uruguay's got basically nothing. I mean, I might as well go down here. I mean, you attacked me. I should be legally allowed to do this. Wait. India has zero military? Oh, don't tempt me like that, India. Do not tempt me like that. That is a lot of possible people. We might just have to go that way. I don't think, I barely have a military right now. I'm like India. Wait, I'm technically the fifth strongest military power. When did that happen? Okay, the US is gonna get rid of Peru for me, so thank you for that. I think I need to station something here in South America. Is it the US is just gonna continue to take over everything in South America? Also, I believe I might be at war with Chile. So we would wanna take them out. Probably not enough to take out, but I mean, not whatever. All right, so we're gonna 
gonna walk into India. Japan's also declared war on India. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. An unprecedented cold way is affecting Russia. Russia still has a lot of troops though, so I don't know if it's really affecting that much. Man, they just continue to go at war with more and more people. Hey, can you like go attack Japan instead? Here comes China. Okay, so the collapse of India is, is happening. I think I might go after Peru. I mean, yeah, Peru's collapsing and all, and that will help out make our borders look a little bit better. It's just all these peasants keep breaking up. There's a lot. Even though they're being attacked from all sides, it's China that's really helped me out the most. How's the war here in Peru? We're getting some pretty good territory. We're still at war with Chile as well. Wait, I might be at war with uh, Mozambique or something. Libya too. Wow, we're actually at war with a lot of people. I didn't even know that. But whatever, I'm gonna focus on India. Okay, so Japan's kind of back. Who, who is this? We have Iceland down here in Sri Lanka and Portugal splitting up this island. That's beautiful. Ooh, we might get, we need to bring some reinforcements up there, I think. Yeah, fight one at a time, please. Diplomatic relationship between Liechtenstein and Luxembourg has been improved. Okay. Okay, Peru's about to fall. Do I have my troops back in Germany yet? I think I might have taken them. I th maybe. I gotta keep in mind, maybe there are peasant revolts, but they're not like that big. Okay, yeah, spread out. Take over all of India, please. I guess we might as well continue to go after Chile since we're already at war with Chile. They were already fighting us. Oh, did Argentina finally fall? We have a bigger military down there for them. India is still causing us trouble. I mean, it's not great. We have a lot of people coming, though, to help out. Oh, thank, thank you, Japan. Here comes Russia down from Afghanistan and Pakistan, and we are just moving straight through Chile. And Chile actually got a little bit bigger because of the collapse of Argentina. We're not still at war with Argentina, right? I think I called it off. Yeah, no. We might be able to attack Uruguay, though. I do have to get another unit back at home. If we can, we could do something with him. I have now officially jumped to third place over Japan in terms of GDP. Still pretty far behind China and the US, who's number one. It's really just because I spotted that India had zero military. Okay, so Russia's gonna get this. That's fine. And we're still cleaning up Chile. Yeah, economically, we're really benefiting from the collapse of India and from getting the majority of India, too. Not bad. We're not going to be able to beat the US in terms of the official winner, but we started a really nice uh, German empire. German Morocco, German disgusting South America that uh, needs to get cleaned up, and then German India brought me to third place. My patrons on Patreon, thank you. Carino is best girl. Sebi, if you hear this, I love Jack you. Jack Draven's annoying friend. I can't sleep without Drew's Drew voice. Drew on your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. Amateur archaeology. A fat normal. Carmel S. Frederick Tiddle. Inquisitor Zero. Mexican John Denver. Carino is best girl. Lemons Lines. Luxembourg Lover. Orton 5610. Robert Rye e. the Pie. The Great Ralphie. And Zany Boy 